Hey, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is good, what is good, what is good? Of course, you know who I be, good doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again once again. I just wanted to politic with y'all, all my good stuff right there sprinkled in the uh, description area below. All right. <sighs> it's been a long journey, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long, long journey, and I think it's uh, been a while since I've been able to have a heart-to-heart -heart with my audience, have a heart-to-heart -heart video with you guys, kind of give you the inside of the mind of the good Doc Dr. Mike TV and uh, all that this channel and YouTube encompasses for myself. So some of you may know this, some of you may not. My, all of my day ones will definitely know this, but Doc's been on the tube for roughly about four years now. My first official video post was April 21st, 2017. I've had some hits, I've had some misses, had some ups, had some downs, triumphs, successes, flops, you name it, I've had it all within my four-year tenure. And I'm actually surprised that I've kind of been able to roughly keep my channel around the same content area in reference to Philippine-based content for the most part. Travel as a secondary concept of the channel, travel concept, but more or less Philippine-based content. So I've been able to do this for a while and like I said, ups, downs, hits, and misses. But a lot of people ask me, Doc, if you had to describe your channel in one way, how would you describe your channel? Um, the best way for me to describe it, and this is an analogy that I hope that a lot of you guys can pick up what I'm putting down, but if you can't, please explain it to the others that don't get this one, okay? Uh, my channel is a lot like those biscuits that you get from Popeye's Chicken. Sometimes that shit is just hard to swallow, all right? Again, it's like a chicken, it's like a biscuit you get from Popeye's, man. Sometimes my content is hard to swallow by that i mean sometimes i'm gonna say some things you don't like sometimes i'm gonna say things that you rock with and over a four-year span guys and every transition that i've had since the inception of my channel man i have lost a lot but i've also gained a lot and again that is just something that as a youtuber you have to be 100 percent accepting of you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some you're gonna gain some you're gonna lose some hopefully that you gain more than you lose but you have to be able to accept the fact that sometimes people just outgrow your channel, okay? Sometimes people just outgrow your channel. And, you know, back when subscriber count actually meant something to me, you know, I would feel a way if I lost subscribers or if I go into my analytics and, you know, you see that you've lost subscribers for that day or whatever. You know, I'd be like, damn, man, how the fuck did I lose it or why did I lose them? I think I stopped caring about subscriber count about a year or so ago, but... Uh, the reason why I only, the reason why I really stopped caring about subscriber count was because I realized exactly how useless subscriber count actually is, in my opinion. Once you've reached threshold from the payment program, if that's what your aspirations are, again, please don't get on YouTube thinking you're going to get rich because that's not likely <laughs> for the most part. You could do well on YouTube, but sometimes it's very hard to build a channel. So make sure you do it because you got passion, but you know. That just comes with the territory, gentlemen. It just comes with the territory. And if there's one thing that baffles me or behooves me as a YouTuber is I've never understood why people have to announce when they're unsubscribing to your channel. Okay? I've never in a million years understood why people have to make the announcement that they are no longer going to follow you. I mean, I don't make an announcement every time I block somebody. I don't make an, uh, an announcement every time this happens or that happens or, uh, cut or, or somebody leaves a negative comment or something. I don't talk about that all the time because, again, it comes with the territory. I understand that if you've outgrown my channel or my channel is no longer for you, I have to respect your decision to disembark. But I never understood why you have to make an announcement that, you know what, Dr. Mike TV, I no longer agree with your content. I no longer agree with your sentiments. I no longer agree with the topics of particular videos. Your opinion has changed. And because your opinion has changed, I am no longer going to subscribe to your channel. I am officially going to unsubscribe today. I guess... When you do that, you're expecting me to react a certain way, but the only thing I can actually say is, okay, I respect your decision. I wish it could be better, but unfortunately, it is what it is, and I respect you most if you outline the reasons to me why you no longer want to rock with Doc, and again, I'd have to, exp I have to respect it, but I guess for me, 
knowing the fact that I leave my email and all of my personal contact, Facebook page and all of that stuff usually in my description area, I guess I'm kind of pressed as why wouldn't you make this a private thing, right? Why does it have to be something you have to announce on my YouTube channel that you're no longer going to subscribe to me? You have to make a grand announcement so everybody can see that you're no longer rocking with me. I mean, my email is right there. I mean, I respond to my emails. That's anybody who emails me. I respond to damn near every email that anybody sends to me. I ain't going to say it's going to be immediately. But from a respectful standpoint and a private standpoint, if you have issues or you've taken issues with things that I've done, not in reference to topics on videos and stuff right there where you can just respectfully leave your comments in the comment section below all right if you want to have that conversation you know that's what the comment section is for but if it's gotten to the point where you felt like an eclectic blend of my entire catalog just seems so off base because oh doc you're disrespecting the filipino people you're oh you're talking so bad about filipinos man oh this uh, why couldn't you make that a personal matter you understand? I guess that's where I come from. Like, why couldn't you make it a personal matter? I have an email for that. Why does it have to be a grand, I'm unsubscribing to your channel in my comment section shit? And I often encourage people who disagree with everything that I say or has anything to say against me. I often encourage them, yo, make your own channels, guys. I encourage you to make your own channel. And the reason that is, is because hell, man, maybe you will do better than me. Um, there's no better, there's no better feeling in the world than when you can say you're outdoing the person that you despise the most, where you're out there making more, getting more views and getting more subscribers than the person that you absolutely have disdain towards, or you don't agree with their concepts. You do well with shit like that. You feel me? You do very well with things like that. And then you have something over me. Ha ha, Doc, I'm out doing you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's why your channel can't grow. Ha 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 ha. That's why you've been at 5,000 for like, well, I'm sorry, about 4,900 recently. But that's why you've been at like 4K for like a whole year. Ha 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 ha. I understand. I understand. People are naturally going to find something to hate. It comes with the territory, gentlemen. Again, you want to be a YouTuber. Understand and respect the fact that once you start to actually do some things or you have opinions, whether it be polar this way, polar the other way, people are going to have an opinion about your opinions. That comes with the territory. I do wish people weren't so sensitive, but hey, it comes with the territory. So I respect it. Hey, it is what it is. I guess I'm just lost and baffled at why it has to be an announcement that you have to unsubscribe to my channel it's 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 an announcement like a grand psa <laughs> public service announcement i so and so and so and so have opted to no longer subscribe to the dr mike tv channel i've had many people quietly do the exact same thing that you've done i mean quietly they just bowed out gracefully they like fuck it man i just don't watch the shit no more they never had to come out there and have a grand thing or make it known to me that they unsubscribe. I mean, if it's the attention that you seek, please believe. I have no problem giving you the attention. Just do it in my email, man. It doesn't have to be something that is attached to my entire channel. You know, I never understood that. And again, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it hasn't just happened to me. I've seen it happen to a lot of other people as well. I've seen this happen to other YouTubers where I might have been scrolling to the comment section and somebody unsubscribed to their channel. Or they made the grand gesture of telling them, I'm unsubscribing to your channel. <laughs> Man, look. There's, there's a few things that I often get clowned for. Number one, subscriber count. Number two, video views. And I admit, hey, it comes with the territory, man. Like I said, I've had some hits. I've had some misses. But I do want to let you guys in on something on the back end just so that you understand why Doc doesn't cry if I'm getting 100 views, 150 views. Yeah, I might tease a little bit on my live streams and stuff like that. Have a little fun with it. Be like, y'all going to support them, but y'all ain't going to rock with me and I'm over here busting my ass for y'all. Oh, because I mean that. But... If you ever want to know the truth why I don't uh, trip over the amount of views that I get on videos for the most part, is because you have to look at YouTube as nothing more than a marketing tool. If you get views and you're able to make money off of it, fantastic. And I know a lot of guys who are outdoing me with way less subscriber counts than myself. 
All right, I know a lot of guys who are doing way better than me, and I understand and I respect how that's happening. You just got to be able to be on the outside looking in, see what they've been able to customize for their own channel, and how they've been able to make it work. Even if, you know, Philippine-based content is what I'm more or less focusing on. Unless there's one thing that a lot of people don't know, unless you look in the description area below, Doc has books, Doc has Patreons, all right? So imagine this, if out of 100 views, I can convert one person to a patron or one person to get a book, I've already succeeded. You understand? Because YouTube has officially served this purpose, in my opinion. If I get it one pledge or, you know, one person to buy a book, as a result of watching my video, I've done well for myself. And on average, per video posted, I've been able to have that conversion. So it's like I look at YouTube as a place for me to get out my, you know, get out my my emotions, my frustrations, sharing things that I think are beneficial to my audience and have a little fun, poke a little fun, you know, a couple jabs here, have a couple laughs, man, because that's what I do. I want to make you guys laugh. I want this to be edutainment. But ultimately behind the scenes man with the conversions that works just as well as a matter of fact y'all should sub 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 subscribe now and pledge to one of my patreons down below for all of my unseen content just in case you you want to and again some people may say doc oh shit doc's an e-beggar now and i want to have that conversation too real quick before we leave all right um i don't know how you define e-begging I've, co I've constantly been conflicted about the definition of what an e-beggar is Trust me, I've been thinking about this shit all day and all night and the day before and the day before. How do you constitute an e-beggar? Somebody that's just online begging for money? Anybody that's just online begging for money? I said because um, that wouldn't just be us foreigners in this space. There are a couple of other young ladies that do the exact same thing, but y'all want to get at us for it. But maybe it's because we're foreigners, whatever. But again, I don't know how I would fit in that category. Maybe I'm an e-beggar. I don't know. But I often at least try to provide some value. All right, like, for example, I'm not asking you for money. And if you don't do anything, I'm not going I'm going to dismiss you because you have some people who will literally say if you don't super chat or you don't do this, you know, I'm not going to recognize you, nor am I going to, you know, give you any attention. I'm not going to respond to any of your stuff unless you're a supporter in that manner. That's not the energy you'll ever get from Doc. All right. I write everybody. I shout out everybody. I go through streams a lot of streams where nobody donates a damn thing because it comes with the territory. It's not a requirement by law. And that's one thing that I want to know too, man. Nobody is required by law to ever come to this channel, okay? You're not required by law to be here. If you don't want to be here, at least not go. Is that I'm going now or you're going now? I, I'm sorry, at least not go. I'm sorry, at least not go. You can go now or whatever. Fuck, I, I, my Tagalog's dirty right now but anyways you have every right to leave nobody's forcing you to be in this area right here this is my little space i've carved out my little piece of heaven over here in this in the tube it ain't a lot i have my fun i rock with my people and everything like that and if you ever really did have an issue with me i'll get back to the e-bagging in a minute um but if you ever did have an issue with me and you rock with me like i like there are certain people i could probably at least name 10 people right now that if my channel ever got out of hand, all right? I don't have yes men in my corner. Let's keep it real. I don't have yes men. But if my channel ever got out of hand, people, email me immediately. Say, Doc, man, these last couple of videos, man, you might have went in just a little bit too hard. Because sometimes I do. It comes with the territory, all right? It depends on how emotionally riled up I am about a particular topic or situation. Again, it comes with the territory. I win some, I lose some. You like some, you hate some. It comes with the territory. But there are a chosen few people that I know for a fact, and they email me often, not even about my content, but just about comments, questions, and concerns in general. They know who they are. That if my channel ever got out of hand, like if it ever got to the point, like that's when I'll start to pay attention. Like, okay, this is coming from somebody who has been with the doc for a minute, somebody who really rocks with the content, somebody who's really, you know, locked in and they respect what I do. So if they really come to me saying, yo, Doc, man, I don't know about that last one or I don't know about them couple that you posted before, man, you might have went a little bit too ham, then I'll I'll, I'll at least run it back in my mind, all right? I'll be like, okay, maybe I probably shouldn't have went as hard as I did, all right? I'll never apologize like that, but I'll definitely scale it back. 
You know what I'm saying? It comes with the territory. You just got to be careful what you post sometimes. Because, again, the sensitive nature of the content sometimes gets people all riled up in everybody and they feelings. Feelings. All right. So, yeah, I know if I ever did get out of hand and they know who they are, I should never have to call your name. You know who you are. If my shit ever got out of hand, I would respectfully ask you to go to the comment section, hit up my email or shit. Go ask me for my email in the comment section. I'll give it to you. Um, And we can have that conversation offline. Again, I just don't know why it has to be a public spectacle for you to unsubscribe to my channel. But back to the e-begging thing. Like I said, I don't think I'm an e-begger because I would like to think that I like to provide things that are of value. So basically, if you go out and you subscribe to the Patreon, that's like 60, 70 plus videos respectively on each of those Patreons that have videos that are not posted on YouTube or videos that haven't been seen on YouTube in forever. So now they live and breathe and they're going to die on the Patreon channel. So I've got a lot of content over there. So it's not like, okay, we're going to pledge to this man Patreon and he ain't going to give us nothing over here. We're just pledging to support his YouTube channel. Okay. If you want to do that, that's what Super Chat for, right? Or that's what PayPal's for and that's what Cash App for. Um, but um, yeah, or if you get a book, an ebook, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that you're able to get some value out of what you're getting from me. So that's why, you know. It's hard for me to understand what e-begging is and how I would fit the mold. I'm pretty sure if you ask a troll, they'll tell you <laughs> how I fit the mold. But I've just come to this point in my life where I'm like, guys, man, I got to live and die by my words. Everything that I say, I got to live and die by. Understandably so. If I put it out there and I said it, it is what it is. Because I tell you this, a lot of people don't believe this shit. A lot of people don't believe this. A lot of people don't believe this. Nobody believes this shit. I make a lot of videos. As a matter of fact, if you guys haven't noticed, I've posted consistently every day for a minute now. Since, you know, since about the turn of the month, maybe maybe about a month or so now plus, man, I've been content daily. Sometimes that concludes with a live stream. Sometimes that concludes with two videos a day plus a live stream. So sometimes every day you're getting at least one video, sometimes two, sometimes three videos. All right. So <laughs> I say a lot of things, people. Sometimes I barely remember what I say in my videos, man. It just depends on how I feel in the moment. And that comes with the territory and the channel. Because a lot of people like to try to bring up some shit that I said in 2017 and try to use it on me in the current year. Like, bro, come on now. You gonna sit there and try to... <laughs> try to gut my content <laughs> from 2017? And you honestly think that people are gonna have the same mode of thinking four years straight i mean there are some content or things that don't change for sure 100 percent. there are some things that i've said that i've been consistent on but sometimes when you've had more experiences and you've seen different things sometimes the vision can change all right it comes with the territory again so for you to sit there and try to dissect content back in 2017 like oh remember what you said in 2017 no motherfucker i barely remember what i said yesterday i barely remember what i said two videos ago you have to tell me what I said in the video. And sometimes I will look at you and say, Mike said that? Literally, I, I've had that moment a lot. It's like Lil Wayne when he's writing verses in his, well, not writing them, but freestyling. Sometimes you look and say, nigga, that's what I said? And that's literally how I feel. Sometimes you just don't remember what you say. So if you bring it up to me and I tell you that I said it and you ask me my personal opinion on it, maybe my opinion changed. I'm not going to sit there and say I'm flip floppy. No, 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 no. Or maybe what I said just requires further detail or further clarification. Comes with the territory, okay? I get that. I get that, 100%. But I guess for me at this point where we are in my YouTube career, <laughs> it's not even a career, but my YouTube tenure um, here on the tube, um, like I said, guys, it's now just fun. It's now just me being me, me putting out the content that I think you guys want, that I think you guys need. So, like I said before, you're not required to be here, okay? Nobody's going to judge you for leaving. Nobody's going to judge you for unsubscribing. Nobody's forcing you to stay in this realm. There are so many people that you can follow, and I'm sure that you do. There's just no way in this world Doc is the only person on YouTube you listen to. That would be crazy, because there's a lot of people I listen to myself, and I'm in the same sector as them, all right? So, like I said, man... I don't know how y'all gonna take the video at this point. I just had to have this heart to heart because I think that it's noteworthy for you guys to understand where my mind is right now. You can clown me all day long about subscriber count. You can clown me about viewership. You can clown me about everything. 
But at this point, it's like, look, man, nobody's required to be here. I'd rather you, I'd rather the people that want to listen to what I have to say or the people that want to listen to my content, listen to it. The people who just want to listen to troll, go ahead. It comes with the territory. I got to be able to accept that as well. But if you don't want to listen, if you don't like me, if you don't rock with Doc anymore, guess what? Enjoy the rest of your day. You be blessed. I have no ill will. I ain't mad at you. You got to do what you got to do, pimpin'. You got to do what you got to do, man. <laughs> like I said, once you've outgrown it, chuck the deuces. Understand that I truly appreciate your time spent within our realm. And I truly appreciate your time spent with the fan bam over here on the Dr. Mike TV channel. I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that you find what you're looking for. Because we all searching for something. We're definitely all searching for something. Whether it be something that you can get from me or somebody else to each their own, ladies and gentlemen. But I will always wish you nothing but the best of luck. Alright? So y'all make sure y'all take care and y'all stay blessed, man. This has been a good doc. And with that being said, good doc is officially out. I at least knuckle. But alone. Which means I am going now. Uh, bye bye As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Makita. Mabuhai. And if you made it this far in the video, because it's a long-ass video, um, what do I want you guys to say in my comment section? Uh, <laughs> I want you to, uh, put Popeye's, <laughs> type, type Popeye's biscuits <laughs> with the laughing emoji. That's what I want. I want you to type Popeye's biscuits. <laughs> In quotation marks with a laugh at emoji. That's what that that literally let me know that you really watched this video for 20 plus minutes because that's bugging. I'll see how many people actually made it through to the end. All right, so Popeyes biscuits in quotation marks with the smiley face, laughing emoji. All right, y'all take care, man. Doc is out. Peace.